Hello, hello, and welcome to Send Me. We promote the gospel of Jesus Christ. Join us every Tuesday for Prayer Line. You can download our free app, Send Me Radio, from the Google and iTunes Store. Or log on to our website at www.sendme.co.uk. That's www.sends.co.uk. Check out our newest magazine, Digital Inc., for inspiration and stories, testimonies, and the latest on what's happening. That's digitalhink.com. D I G I T A L H I N K.com. Ladies and gentlemen, what you're about to hear is a 100% vocals. 100% vocals. Why, me down in the country you now, and nothing now go on. But since me do a little interview with Digital Inc., my career just kick off. <laughs> I was down in the village praying for a miracle and Digital Inc. called me for an interview. And now I'm a celebrity. And now I travel to New York, Milan, London, Tokyo, all over the world. God bless. God bless. God bless. 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 Hello, and hello, welcome to and welcome, welcome, and welcome, and welcome for cutting edge interviews, articles, food, and fashion. Check out Digital Inc. Digital, 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 Digital. online magazine where you are a celebrity. Digital Inc. Digital www.digitalhink. Developers, 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 to be praised. 
You need to worship him, my dear brothers and sisters. Brethren, follow me to worship him, for he is your king, and also the king of kings. to the governor until line was drawn he was an opposition to the not only to the people not only to the governor but to the entire state he held the city what Mount. bound through his magic and sorcerer so, and that is why the Lord has called us to pull down every sorcerer, to pull down every seat that does not belong to God. Every seat opposing the people, both in families.
him, my dear brothers and sisters, brethren, follow me to worship him, for he is your king, and also the king of kings.
people listen. The wages of sin is death, thus said the Bible. The sin of fearfulness, unbelieving of the word of God, adultery, fornication, and abortion. God sees them, you know. Cheating, murder, lying, bribery, and corruption that has failed and polluted our land today. Idol worship in the modern ways today. Dancing and the pride of life therein. Among thieves, you are included. Please, God is warning you right now to repent. Others think their self-righteousness can save them, but only accept Jesus. Call him into your life. He will set you free, and you will be free indeed. Please, you do it, and make sure you make it right now.
When I gave my life to Jesus Christ, oh, it was a wonderful day I have ever experienced in my life. Jesus cleansed me from all unrighteousness and gave me a new life. I am now a child of God. Brothers and sisters, why not receive Jesus Christ? Why not receive his free salvation? That you might be free from the bondage of sin. Receive Jesus Christ, brother. He's pleading. He's pleading. Receive him.
in the nations and in the lives of people. Whatever it is that is a constant seat against your progress, against your prosperity, against your destiny, against your life and families will be brought down in the name of Jesus. Amen. Paul and Barabbas, they looked straight unto this man, Elimas, and said, listen, you Simon, you son of the devil, you the opposer of every good thing. He said, the hand of the Lord is upon you. And blindness shall come upon you for a while because of your work, because you have held the city bound. The Bible said he attached himself to the governor. He's not the one making declaration, ruling the city, but he influences the man that rules the city. So that's what they do. Yes. They attach themselves to the rulership of the people. So that people will constantly be in suffering. And when God came to liberate them through Paul and Barnabas, he continued to oppose them until blindness came on him. So that the governor will know that this is the true servants of God. The Bible says when this happened, the governor was amazed and he quickly asked, what shall I do? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So that is what the kind of power and anointing that God is bringing to his people. Because in every good thing, in every good thing, there's always an opposition from the enemy to stand against it so that you will not reach your full potential. Yes. But in the name of Jesus, we're declaring that every seat that is not of God, every man or woman attached himself to your destiny to bring you down and to corrupt you from reaching the goal that God has set for you will be dethroned today in the name of Jesus. Amen. They will be dethroned. They will be destroyed because the will of God must take preeminence. The will of God must happen. Amen. The will of God must take charge. God himself must take charge in all positions. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I wanted to read verse 6 to 8 again. Acts of Apostles, chapter 13. Acts 13? Yes. Acts 13, 6 to 8. No, 6 to 10. Or 7 to 10, sorry. 7 to 10. 7 to 10. Yes. No, 6 to 10. Read 6. It's very important. 6 to 10. Acts 13, 6 to 10. Yes. Afterwards, they preached from town to town across the entire island until finally they reached Paphos, where they met a Jewish sorcerer, a fake prophet named Bar Jesus. He had attached himself to the governor, Sergius Paulus, a man of considerable insight and understanding. The governor invited Barnabas and Paul to visit him, for he wanted to hear their message from God. But the sorcerer, Eli Mas, his Greek name, interfered and urged the governor to pay no attention to what Paul and Silas said, trying to keep him from trusting the Lord. Trying to keep him from trusting the Lord. There's always people that will stand against the word of God. Yes. So Paul and Barnabas was busy. Preaching all over the place until they met this man. Amen. Yes, amen. It was the desire of the governor to hear the word of God. And he invited Paul and, Paul and Barnabas to hear what the Lord is speaking. Mm. What is the word of God for me? What is the prophecy? What is the direction that God wants me to follow? However, 
early mass, the son of the devil, the sorcerer, refused, was distracting him, opposing the word of God, so that the word of God will come without effect, telling him that this man or this man of God is fake prophet. You have to listen to me, don't listen to them. So there is always a force. There's always an opposition. It started from here, the Acts of Apostles. With all the anointing that God gave them, they still have opposition. Amen? Amen. With all the anointing that they experienced, they still have opposition. But it always comes, it always goes that when God starts speaking and the enemy interferes, he gets his punishment as he deserves. Now this man was opposing the word of God until blindness came on him. He wouldn't have believed if there was no blindness because he's a true magician. Yes. He's a sorcerer. He knows the ways of the devil. He understood the magic. And because of these magicians or his magic power, the governor believed him. He said he attached himself. Every attachment that is not of God will be totally destroyed in your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. So we decree and declare that any attachment that is not of God will be destroyed, will be totally destroyed by the fire of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, we must release the anointing. We must release the power to crush the head of the serpent, to crush the head of the enemy. So that people of influence will be free. Yes. People that will take the word of God to the next level will be free. Because the governor is in a position to influence the people with the word of God. He said when the righteous is ruling, people rejoice. But when the wicked rules, people suffer and they are in pain. Yes. So, under this governor, under this governor, People were in pain. Amen. Amen. Governor Sergius said, which was with the deputy of the country. Sergius, he was the deputy governor. Now, this man was willing to obey God, was willing to flow with the word of God, was willing to let the people do the right thing but somebody was attached to him by Jesus yes, the sorcerer the sorcerer, by Jesus and the Greek name is Elimias so he's a, he's a sorcerer, he's a magician so that the city will be bound it doesn't take many people for the city to be bound just, one. just need one man the same thing that God needs because the, uh, the enemy always go with fake things. He try to imitate God. God does not need too much people to lose the city. He needs only one man who is available, who is willing. The same thing happens. You see, this man, only one, only by Jesus, attached himself. To the governor, so that the city will be bound. And this practice has been going on for years. This practice has been going on. The same person. You know, there are people that they will attach themselves to the government, to the government. They will never go. Any governor, any prime minister, any president that comes will have to go through them. So that the city will be bound. You know, I have to tell you this. There's one man in my city those days. The man 
What he does is any governor that wins, he will make a chieftaincy cloth, very costly cloth, and give the man as a gift. Like he will call him and give him a title. They will organize a title and then he will wear that to the man. And once the person wears that cloth, the person's mind will change. People will stop receiving their salary the way they're supposed to. They will owe salaries. They will, the city will be in chaos. Many things will begin to happen until prayerfully people understood what he was doing. And they prayed him out of that place. The city was released. That was how the city became liberated. They began to build roads. They began to do many things in the city. So it does not take many people to bound the city. It only takes a man, wicked man. And it takes one man to free it. That's why when God is looking, looking, and then found this ministry, he set us to liberate the people, intercede for them, teach them how to liberate their own families and nations. Amen. Amen. So that is what we are doing and that is what I'm encouraging people anybody that is under the sound of my voice even those that will listen to this on radio send me radio and radio speak you have to know that you need to liberate your family liberate your nation through prayer it takes only one man he said and God sought for a man a man a man so we're going to pray we're going to thank God For, for his blessing. Amen. Glory be to God in the highest. Hallelujah. Glory be to God in the highest. Hallelujah. Everybody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout hallelujah.
to be washed and to be prayed. You need to worship him, my dear brothers and sisters. Brethren, follow me to worship him, for he is your king, and also the king of kings. Fornication and abortion. God sees them, you know. Cheating, murder, lying, bribery and corruption that has failed and polluted our land today. 
idol worship in the modern ways today, dancing and the pride of life therein, among thieves you are included. Please, God is warning you right now to repent. Others think their self-righteousness can save them, but only accept Jesus. Call him into your life. He will set you free, and you will be free indeed. Please, you do it, and make sure you make it right now.
Hello, hello, and welcome to Send Me. We promote the gospel of Jesus Christ. Join us every Tuesday for Prayer Line. You can download our free app, Send Me Radio, from the Google and iTunes Store. Or log on to our website at www.sendme.co.uk. That's www.sends.co.uk. And check out our newest magazine, Digital Inc., for inspiration and stories, testimonies, and the latest on what's happening. That's digitalhink.com. D-I-G-I-T-A-L-H-I-N-K.com.